Hi guys and welcome to uh, Ron's Weight Loss Journey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If this is your first time to my channel, please feel free to hit like and smash the uh, subscribe button. And that bell up there, yeah, yeah, you know which bell, the bell up there, one of the bells on either side. Just uh, click the notification and you'll be able to get my uh, latest videos and it also helps my uh, fellow subscribers to know when I have a new uh, video that I post it week to week. Now I uh, like to post a video up every Sunday or Monday and uh, sometimes two or three videos during the week depending on what I did for activity. Well, today is uh, December 27th. It is uh, two days after Christmas, and I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a happy and safe new year coming forward. Uh, I hope you got a lot of stuff from Santa this year. Uh, so my wife and I, we normally wrap presents and all that stuff this year. It didn't even feel like Christmas because we didn't do any wrapping this year. We just, her and I were just in the mood this year. Santa did bring us a nice air fryer, and I want to thank that person for that air fryer. She knows who she is. Um, I got it, uh, it's, it's still in a box. I have to get it. It's too big for my counter, so I have to get a uh, an utility cut to put it on so I can start using it, but we will be using it. We did get a, uh, a uh, food processor so I can start doing some uh, keto recipes, and uh, my wife bought me a brand new shirt that's a... 2x and I was able to fit into it and I we got I got my wife uh, some jewelry that she wanted and that's pretty much all we got this p p past year because of the uh, you know the money was really tight this year we were hoping to get another stimulus and that didn't happen we still might get something next year I believe but um, when that happens then we'll have a, a real Christmas thing that happens but to that does you know we're fine we got each other and it's it's not about uh, giving it's just about uh staying healthy and supporting your spouse and your family and uh and uh being giving thanks to what you have and uh, to me right now what i have i have my uh family and my friends and my many facebook friends and uh you know we're slowly getting our health back our health back and uh yeah so it's it's been good so um I'm looking at my notes, so just so I don't miss anything. So today is uh, day 135, week 21, if you're counting. I'm happy to say that I'm down to 268.7 pounds. Um, so here's what happened. I stalled out on my scale for a couple of weeks, and I was kind of worried about it because it just wasn't moving. I did the beef and butter fast, and, and I was like 272. <laughs> You know, it just it just wasn't moving, and I goes, well, what the heck is going on here? You know, and uh, so I I didn't want to. I don't get discouraged because I know the weight we did put it on one day is going to take longer than one day to get it off. And then all of a sudden, I looked at the scale, and boom, I weighed myself, and I was two hundred sixty eight point seven pounds. So I, I lost fifty six pounds for my uh, journey. Actually, fifty yeah fifty six pounds for my uh, journey, and. Uh, and since August 17th, and for somebody who's 64 years old, I think that's terrific, and I and I feel it's terrific. As a matter of fact, uh, yesterday, it, it was uh, Saturday, and I was just bored from being in the house all week, and uh, I decided to go down to the uh, the uh, trail path there, the Doyle Estate. That's one of my go-to places all summer long, and I uh, went down there, and uh, I walked a mile and a half. But it was a pretty quick walk. I stop once and that was it i, I didn't dilly daddle i uh i uh pretty much walked straight and steady and i wasn't even really tired when i got done i actually felt good when i got done but uh cold sitting in my back and today i've been resting on the uh, i don't have the heating pad anymore my fried on me so i gotta get a new heating pad but um i feel pretty good i weighed myself this morning i weighed 268 pounds like i said 268.7 actually and uh so uh, here's what's going on for this coming week we got coming up. Uh, we got something called New Year's. We're going to go into a New Year's uh, this, this coming Friday. And uh, so we're going to make another video. We're going to do a complete set of numbers, my thoughts, my goals going forward, where I want to be in 2022. Um, I'm still planning on getting down to 175 pounds. I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, excited about it. 
I've been going to our local gym, option one, and we're planning on going down there at least three days a week, uh, starting next year. I'm going to learn how to do Zumba. I'm going to try to get a Zumba instructional license and try to keep that, try to teach it. Uh, so we have many things we're hoping for for next year to achieve and uh, continue with my video for the city and uh, uh, hopefully this year our summer concerts and our stroll events and all that stuff will come back so I can uh, go out and start filming them for the city. Of, uh, I live in Lemister in the uh, city of Lemister. I enjoy filming. I enjoy volunteering. Uh, for a while there it just got a little bit too much on me and I was very discouraged and I would let too many little stupid things bother me and I had to step back and just... We had that virus out there, and I said, well, you know, I got to worry about Ron, and I, I, I took charge of my life, and, and it's one of the best decisions that I did. I, I'm still a uh, not a volunteer uh, amount of hours, but I just kind of like stepped back for a little bit to get my body and my health back on track, and uh, it's going good. Now, most of you know I have a bad back, but... Uh, I, I did the walk yesterday anyways. I got another cortisone treatment coming up in February, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, uh, I was supposed to go to a physical uh, on the 17th of this month, and uh, so we got Neil with a snowstorm that day, and the, the, uh, all my doctor appointments called me the day before and canceled it, and, uh, and when I saw my doctor last, I told her I wanted to be down to 280 or less, the next time I saw her, which would have been the 17th, now I see her tomorrow, and uh, I not only passed that, I succeeded that goal, and that was uh, 268 compared to uh, 280, so that's quite a drop, and I'm very happy about that, and uh, so we have that, so my next goal when I see her again after that, I'm going to try to get my uh, goal, that weight's going to be down to about 225, I want to I I take off I want to be down 100 pounds when they see it next time after this next visit. We'll see if that will happen. But, um, so we're planning on doing the uh, Chinese food New Year's. We do my Three Stooges Marathon. Uh, I'm not going to eat too much Chinese food. Just uh, what I want until I'm full and satisfied. And then that, that's going to be it. And uh, starting New Year's, we'll have a new set of New Year's resolutions we're going to be making in the, in the updated video that I'll be doing at the end of the week. And a whole new set of measurements to see where I was back in August, to see where I am in January 1st. And then we'll record all that in film, and then we'll have that. And, and even and no matter what my weight is, we'll I'll weigh up on the scale. And uh, so I I weigh myself up when I'm after I done my shower in the morning, and I and then afterwards when I put my clothes on. And I've been noticing that my clothes weigh one or two pounds more than the actual weight. So the, the number that you're seeing on the scale is the scale that, you know, when I'm done taking my shower and, and uh, I get on the scale and I weigh myself and that's when I go by. But when I'm in the doctor's tomorrow, I'll have my full set of clothes on and I should get an accurate weight on their digital scale. And uh, the last time I was there, I had gotten a complete set of uh, uh, blood work and I wanted to know how my cholesterol and all that stuff was doing. I'm gonna ask her for an update on all that too, by the way. And then I'll read off the numbers uh, on the updated uh, video for this coming uh, Friday on New Year's Day. And uh, yeah, so it, it's going real good. My, my back is uh, is okay, but it could be better. It's, uh, it's I'm taking it one day at a time. I found a, a great book called You Can, You Will by Joe Olson. And I'll put a link in the videos. It's on Amazon. I got a used co copy for about eight bucks. And it's even cheaper if you have the audio version. But... Um, he talks about a lot of different things and inspirational quotes every day, and I really love it. And uh, I'm not one to read, but uh, I am reading this book uh, word for word, and I'm already halfway through it. And uh, I hope, hope to finish it up sometime before the end of the week, and I plan on reading it again, and hopefully I get something uh, out of it even more than they did the first time. And uh, it's, it's helping me to stay focused and to stay, and to stay positive. And... Uh, yeah, so that's been uh, what I've been doing. Uh, I took out a few photographs at the Doyle Estate. I'll uh, put a few up. Um, and uh, I'm planning on going down to the uh, to the gym a few times this week, trying to get some exercise. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be around in the 50s. We may go walking in the afternoon for a little bit. If I do, I'll put a little video up. And uh, so that's been it for, for that. <laughs> Pretty much almost all done the video for today for this week, but um, 
I'm going to make a whole new series of videos coming up for 2021 and uh, we are going to be filming out some recipes so I can give you an idea of how I prepare food and what I eat. I typically eat just 20 carbs a day, net carbs a day, and I try to keep my calories to 1,500 grams or less and I count my macros and my protein. And I use a program called Carb Manager. It's very easy. They got a number of different programs that are free out there that you can use. Um, but that works for me. And the ketogenic lifestyle may not work for you. It's it's kind of a restricted uh, lifestyle. It's kind of like the spin-off of the Atkinson diet. But um, it works for me. This is the longest uh, program that I've ever stuck with. And uh, I have fun learn, uh, learning about different foods and how to prepare foods. And uh, we live on a tight budget month to month like most people. My wife doesn't do keto, but she supports me. So I have to prepare food uh, She'll eat most of the meats that I uh, have, but she'll have her own side dish, and I'll have my own side dish of vegetables. That's pretty much how we do it. She has processed foods in the house, like the uh, Twinkies and Double Dogs and Oreos and all that stuff that I, I used to eat, but I'm very disciplined. I don't have any of that stuff. It, it, it bothers me a little bit that it's in the house, but I, when I'm walking by it, it's like out of sight, out of sound, out of mind, and that's and that's how I approach it. So. So if you're, if you're one of these families that they have to deal with this issue, I would say just try to ignore it the best you can. Um, I can't afford to get get the grass-fed beef or the uh, pasteurized eggs right now because we're on a tight, limited budget. <clears throat> and as most of you know, that everything is outrageous on food prices right now. And that's if you can even find what you're looking for. <clears throat> I would like to leave you with this final thought. For every setback, there's a comeback. And remember, you guys are amazing, and I truly mean that. Talk to you again in a few days.